Hi, Heikalu here, and this is part two from my video Camping Gear Essentials and Non Essentials for a two night out winter camping adventure. And I'm sorry about the audio, I had a problem with it, so I'm going to kind of narrate this to you, and we're going to get right to it. Right there, I am uh, taking my pack and showing you the contents of each uh, uh, compartment and the first compartment which is on the side I'm going to open that up and kind of uh, show you what I have there things that are easy to uh, have access to which are my hats in case I need a spare hat and um, that's a neck warmer okay and I'm going to show you another that's a, another a hat a ski hat and that's a, a, a hat liner that you put on first and then you put your ski hat over that and I'm going to kind of show everything to you get there in front of the camera so you can have a better view and that's like a, um, a, a, a helmet liner or a hat liner you put it over your head and it goes down your neck and it keeps you really warm and then what you put on top of that is a hat you put your hat on top of that and that really will keep you warm see that that complements the hat and then you put a, a fleece hat over that that right there is a definite must in extreme cold weather that would definitely keep you warm the only thing you have to worry about is not to overexert yourself and start building up a sweat because you're going to have to take it off so um, that is definitely uh, highly recommended for cold weather especially uh, you know it keeps your neck and your ears warm you know just with that one fleece hat it really is not enough because cold weather especially 10 20 below zero weather it finds you know any crevice that's not covered that cold weather finds its way right in you know and that's another hat liner by OR outdoor research and uh, that's another one it's a thinner um, type of a headliner and it absorbs a lot of sweat and then that little hat is a different type of hat and that's kind of windproof waterproof and it complements the um the headliner and that's the, these are my favorite pieces of headwear that i wear in the cold wet, extreme cold weather and it definitely works because i used it before okay so it's not something that i never used and telling you to uh, try it i tried it and it definitely works so i highly recommend using like a, a liner for your head before you put a, a hat on and especially if you're not doing anything too strenuous so keep it nice and warm and that's just a little beanie um, that I also brought along that's a neck warmer you can put that right down and you put it and tuck it under your uh, collar and it keeps your neck nice and warm and keeps the breeze from going in your chest so these are the various type of hats that I have in my pack so it's not like I'm just carrying one so I have a couple of headliners and a couple of hats and uh, you know for extra uh, precaution in case you start sweating you always have something dry that you could replace it with so these are the hats that I'm showing you that I have and my backpack okay so we're gonna move along and I'm gonna take you into my next compartment on my backpack and we're gonna open it up let me see if there's, if there's nothing else there so we're gonna go on to uh, the next compartment so I have to move back a little bit so you can have a better view of everything. That is an, a really great backpack. That's all my um, wool blend socks. That's a bandana. These are all items, and that's a, a folding saw. Quick access. These are things that I feel that I, in case I needed it right away, I don't have to open up the entire pack to get to. So these are items to me that are essential I have on the outside. Gloves, of course. Those are working gloves. You don't want to work in extreme cold weather with your bare hands because you can freeze them real quick. And those are glove liners with fleece gloves. And that's a great combination. Um, those are the liners and those are fleece gloves. I don't recommend you, you know, get those wet. So, you know, that's why you always bring a pair of work gloves with you. Not the gloves you want to keep your hands warm with. Um, work gloves also will keep your hands warm. So that's a liner there that I am putting the fleece glove over. And that's a great system, and that definitely will keep your hands nice, toasty, warm. Very warm. That definitely works, and I highly recommend to use a glove liner with gloves. Some people just buy gloves, and it's almost like uh, putting your foot in a boot without a sock. You know, you, you always wear socks with boots or shoes. 
and uh, same th the same thing, the same principle with gloves, especially in the cold weather. This is all about cold weather camping, winter camping. So we're gonna move on, and I'm um, going to go on to the other side, which is a longer. It's it's two of the other side. The other side has two pockets. This one has one long pocket, which makes it kind of. Uh, useful to stick long items in there things that are kind of long and I'll show you in a second of why I think it's useful okay and so I'm going to pull out my emergency survival knife that is a great knife and I'm going to explain to you the contents in this knife and why I'm carrying it it's 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 all in one knife it's just an extreme uh, emergency knife for extreme conditions in an emergency it's a nice thick knife has a blade to uh, cut wood with like a saw on one end and then the top that I'm screwing off has a compass I don't know if I'm going to show it to you but that whole thing is filled up with a, like emergency survival kit it's topped with a uh, cotton it has a fishing kit in it it has a uh, floater sinkers line hooks matches a scissors it has a little compass there I'm showing you great I thought I wasn't going to show it to you I'm showing you there there's a little compass on the top and it screws right back on it's watertight it's waterproof it fell in the water none of the contents in that knife will get wet okay and um, and it has also a snare so that's kind of a you know a minimal uh, survival kit but that's enough in the case of an emergency and that's all you had was that knife your chances um, are greater for survival than uh, without it so um, kind of trying to explain that you know sorry about the poor uh, audio so I'm kind of narrating what you see and, um, and, and, and the video number one I had given you uh, a video clip of highlights of me making a pit fire with a, a grill a wooden grill and that's how I'm going to be cooking my food. I'm not taking a, a stove with me. I'm going to be using a natural grill. Right there is a poncho that I pulled out of the uh, bag. And uh, I, I explained that I have a poncho in my emergency um, scout pack too. That's a top. That, I'm sorry. That's a hammock I have in the side there. So I have a poncho. I have a hammock on the side. And let's see what else we have. And that is a five quart um, canteen. It deflates, and I carry that as um, for emergency water. I, I can have up to five quarts. I can carry. I can go down to a stream, a river, or something, and, and collect water and put it in that. And I have five quarts to work out of, not in, including the canteen and the uh, the bladder bag that I will also be bringing along with me which I'm talking about now here's the canteen that's a nice little military canteen with a strap and uh, that's a, a net and that that definitely complements um, you know uh, the other um, items that I have that's a net that you can hang between two trees and you can put items in there you don't have to bend down all the time, and plus it keeps it off the snow. You don't have to directly have everything laying on the ground. And that's my cook set, what I'll be cooking food in. It's super light, it doesn't weigh anything. And that's uh, what I have to uh, cook food in. And uh, let's see what else we have here for you. I think right there I'm explaining and like I said that video that I put in uh, video one at the end is it's the video highlights of me making a pit fire that I wanted to demonstrate to you which uh, I have it in full length on my channel you could see the entire video I just gave you highlights to kind of demonstrate what I how I'll be um, camping what I, the, the process I showed you of um, me making a pit fire so I'm not taking a stove like I said and right there I'm showing you the height of my sleeping bag it is a military extreme cold weather sleeping bag it's like a mummy bag it's big it's a little bulky and it's stuffed down in the bottom of that it's taking up half of that that backpack if you see it and I also have an emergency flare I feel the flare is important to bring and uh, maybe some people feel certain items you shouldn't bring or don't really need I feel I need them 
and it makes me feel more secure knowing that I have them in the case of an extreme emergency. Sometimes things don't turn out like you expect and you may uh, you know, come up to um, unforeseeable circumstances, situations, and they should know you. I took the uh, precautions of bringing extra gear. It makes you that more prepared for that, a situation that you may not expect. The, those emergency rations, or that's my food, it's freeze dried. Each package is a serving for two. And uh, all you gotta do is activate this with boiling water. That is my secondary emergency survival kit which I have one in my scout pack and one in my backpack. So I have two emergency survival kits, including the ones that are built in the knife. That's an extra fleece that I carry, and you can use that as a, for a pillow if I don't need it, because I'm gonna have a fleece anyway. So that's a secondary fleece, that's a top. And I have a variety of uh, configurations as far as making a shelter. I have a, a hammock, I have a top, I can use that in conjunction. Um, using the hammock and putting the top over to keep me uh, from getting wet from the rain or I can just use the top by itself as a shelter and many different type of configurations and there you see is my backpack I mean excuse me my um, sleeping bag just to show you how much space it took it took almost half of that that backpack so I don't want you thinking I'm clumping so many different items in my backpack it's just it's just a minimal not can't say minimal it's just enough as far as it makes me happy and uh, feeling really secure when I go out in the cold weather. I'm really covering all the bases. Um, I'll be right back with you in one minute. Thank you. Normally would show you, uh, it's cold out here, of the demonstrations on survival. I probably can have enough time to show you what's called a, a funnel fire where you can dig two holes and connect them and you have an airflow and you make the fire inside the hole where you can cook food and don't have to worry about the fire spreading and you can condense it and it makes it really hot when you put the fire on the ground with the tunnel it really gets hot you can cook food faster that way too see maybe I can probably show you let me see what I can do here Whatever way you choose to dig these holes is strictly up to you. It's all about what works for you at the time. It's about you and what makes you feel comfortable in the process. First, you must dig out two holes in the ground, side by side, at least 12 inches deep and 12 inches apart, followed by connecting them both. So, always be careful and pay attention to every decision you make in a survival situation because your life may depend on it. What you call a funnel. Okay, so you got two holes, you connect them so the air you get a flow and it makes the fire even hotter because it's the oxygen is feeding the fire so that tea is hot that tea is done all right there we are now we got this goes in here get the gloves off for this see if I can get this thing started okay there we go gonna catch I found a nice piece of dried out thick piece of dry wood I could cut try to see if I get this thing there we go baby
That's nice. Yeah. They sure got that hole in there. 